Hello, my name is Michelle Morand, and I'm one of the co-founders of Cancer Treatment Options and Management. If you're here, you are looking for support for cancer care, whether for yourself or someone you care about. That's probably because either you're not sure you're getting the best treatment right now, or maybe your doctor has told you that there are no more options for you. 13 years ago, when my uncle developed cancer, there were very few resources available to him. That's when I happened to meet Alexander Rowland, a fellow who was just completing his PhD studies. He conducted some research for me, for my uncle, which helped us to find a very innovative treatment option for him. But we're talking 13 years ago, and those types of therapies weren't around. Even the types of genetic testing that we can provide now weren't around. Point is, 13 years ago, I didn't have any intention of working in the field of cancer. Uh, I had a very successful practice as a counselor specializing in eating disorders, addictions, trauma, anxiety, and depression. But once I realized what was going on in the cancer care world right now, in the sense that there are hundreds of targeted cancer therapies, and yet the genetic testing to identify which treatment a cancer patient needs and to ensure that they get it is not yet part of standard care. When I discovered that in trying to find support for my uncle, at first I thought I must have misunderstood. And then I felt really quite ignorant, something of a country bumpkin, because I had rather just assumed that whenever I saw a news report about a new cancer treatment, that that was immediately something that cancer patients would be offered. I hadn't thought too deeply about it, to be honest, because it wasn't relevant to me until my uncle got cancer, and then it became very relevant. But once I realized what was actually happening, how few patients were getting the diagnostics that they needed to identify what treatments they needed, and how hard it was for cancer patients to get their doctors on side with genetic testing and targeted therapy and immune therapy treatments. It seemed to me that I just couldn't go back. That's when I chose to partner with cancer research specialist Alexander Rowland and start to try to find a way to ensure that precision cancer medicine became the standard of care ASAP. Well, it's 13 years later. It's definitely taken me longer than I thought, uh, but there are a lot more barriers than I realized in terms of uh, why this isn't standard of care. Fundamentally, uh, the main barrier in most cancer systems uh, is a combination of money and time. When you're dealing with a life-threatening illness like cancer, in my opinion, cancer patients should be made fully aware of everything that is possible to them. What other diagnostics are available, even if they're not part of standard care? What other treatments are available, even if they're not part of standard care? And that's really why cancer treatment options and management exists. We first and foremost do everything we can to find a treatment option that is approved uh, for your cancer agency that is covered by your cancer agency and which your doctor can access for you. If that isn't the case, then we have other options to help you gain access. Um, very rarely do our patients have to pay out of pocket for treatment is what I'm trying to get at there. I know that's a big concern for people when they start to th think about stepping outside the box or the public health care system. They start to imagine massive costs for treatment. We can, through this consultation, identify treatment options for you that will be more advantageous in your current treatment plan. And we can also tell you more about what is possible for you, treatment options that might be accessible to you if you have certain genetic or molecular features. We can tell you about the type of testing you would need to do, and we can tell you how you might access that testing. Really, our goal, or my goal, in helping to establish this service is to make sure that cancer patients don't have to become cancer experts. We want you to be able to focus on just getting well and let us take care of everything else.